Hello, everybody. Welcome to Minnesota Region 4's new YouTube channel, Ask BPA, where my name is Hayat Abdullahi, and I am one of the Minnesota Region 4 Business Professionals of America's officers. Today, I will be showing you how to create your very own Torch Awards resume. But before we get into that, let me explain a bit on what the purpose of Torch Awards are. The purpose of Torch Awards is to encourage BPA members to gain leadership skills in their community through different activities. These Torch Awards are separated into seven different categories, which are leadership, service, cooperation, knowledge, friendship, and last but not least, love, hope, faith, and patriotism. The last four that I say are all combined into one category. Each activity can earn you a certain number of points ranging from five to 20. And after achieving these points in every category, you and your advisor can submit your resume for recognition. Torch Awards are open to all BPA members in the middle level, secondary, and post-secondary division. You can achieve one of four levels of recognition based on the number of Torch Award points you earned in each of the seven categories. The seven different categories can earn you points in the levels of executive, diplomat, statesman, and last but not least, the ambassador torch award. For the executive award, it's given as the first level of recognition and it is only given at the local chapter level. You must complete at least 10 points in every category in order to be eligible for this award. For the diplomat torch award, Depending on your state, this award will be awarded to you either at your local, regional, or state level. You must complete at least 30 points in each category in order to be eligible for this. For the Statesman Torch Award, like its name states, it is awarded at, yes, the state level. And you must complete at least 50 points in each category. And are the last level of recognition and the most highly achieved and well recognized is the Ambassador torch award it's awarded at the national level but because of this this reward requires at least 70 points in each category in order to remain eligible for this award but i assure you the process of putting in the amount of time and effort to achieve and earn these points is much easier and if you listen to this video then you'll see how you can maybe get this award yourself You may be wondering at this point how you can even access your Torch Award resume. Well, let me explain this to you. To access your Torch Award resume, go to the BPA website at bpa.org, and at the very top of the page, you'll find the Member Gateway tab. Once you click this tab, it'll take you to another page. Click on the BPA Member Login tab. Your advisor will provide you with your username, which is an eight numeral code, and give you a provisional password. You can change this password later on, but for the purpose of this video, it's okay if you just find the Torch Awards page under the Students tab once you log in. Click the Torch Awards login and enter your eight numeral code and password once again. Once you've logged in, click the Torch Awards tab. Once you get into the Torch Awards tab, you can look at all the different activities that you can complete in each category under the Add Activity added. For example, one activity you might see is something that you can be eligible for in the leadership category, such as if you are a team leader or a team captain of any sport. While you are a BPA member, you can find your points under the leadership category as the code 113. Let me show you guys a couple of tips that you can do when filling out your activities for each category. The first tip I'm going to give you is to make sure that you are concise. When writing the description of the torch towards an activity, it is good to write with full sentences, but remember that additional details are not necessary. It's good to be concise and straight to the point. Next, ask your advisor if you need to submit a picture or video to prove that you completed the Torch Award activity in order to be eligible to actually get the points for it. And last but not least, make sure you click submit once you are finished with the description or else all your work will essentially have been for nothing. Something to keep in mind is that the submission deadline varies for the Executive, Diplomat, and Statesman Award. But if you want to achieve the Ambassador Award this year, you have to submit your points by March 25th of this year or of the next year. As I say before, the deadline varies and right now it's to be determined for the Executive, Diplomat, and Statesman Award. So unfortunately, we don't have information on that. But 
Stay in tune for our next videos and you'll probably see the dates for them as well. It is important to remember that you can complete these activities and earn these points on your own. Your local and regional advisors and officers will be creating some torch award activities throughout the year that you can take a part in, but the rest is your responsibility to fulfill. If you have any questions, check out the Torch Awards page under bpa.org for more information or ask one of your advisors.